Hi guys, it's your girl Yammy, and I'm at Hollywood. But Hollywood? There's nothing in your title about Hollywood. It says Epcot. That's right, it does. We're gonna take my big, beautiful buckets and head to Epcot that way. That way I get to ride on my buckets, you know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And um, so we just figured we'll park here and ride it over and then we'll come back. I think it'd be fun. So I don't know what all we're gonna do yet. So we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, home to a collection of tropical villages inspired by the colorful architecture and lifestyle of the Caribbean islands. In just a minute, we will be arriving at Disney's Riviera Resort, a Disney vacation club that celebrates the relaxing seaports and romantic vistas of Europe's Mediterranean coast. Ciao, bonjour, and bienvenue. Hello, and welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. If you are traveling to Epcot, please remain on board. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort. If you're just joining us, we are on our way to Epcot. And we are slowly... Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. Look at them just, well, we're swaying too, but look at them swaying, because we're stopped. Oh, here we Ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We are now resuming your journey, and will take flight momentarily. Thank you. And to think, you know, it's just this small little thing that's on a wire that's holding us up here. Ooh. But I still love them. I do. These are my big beautiful buckets. And that's my big beautiful boo. I got my BBBs. We're, we're at Epcot now. Alright, so yeah, you come along the side you'll be able to see Mary Poppins. And we're going to see if we can talk to her. Good morning. How are you? How are you today? Very good. I'm looking for your penguins. Okay. So do they come around much? Okay. So I'll keep my eyes out for them. Okay. I'll keep my eyes out. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, we're gonna go inside the festival center and see what's in there. I know we were in there at the beginning of the festival, but I don't remember what was in there. So, we're gonna check it out again. Oh, that's Canada. Yeah. Yeah, that's Canada over there. Yeah. Now it's always so dark in here. Look at the lights. Ooh. All right, so let's check around and see what we have here. Sliders. Okay, what is that? That is a watermelon salad. No. Beef brisket, burnt ends, and smoked pork belly slider. That one sounds good. Um, fried green tomatoes. Key lime tart. Frozen lemonade. Ooh. Fried green tomatoes. Okay. Maybe we might try those um, sliders. Try something different. More things on it. Yeah. So you could sit in either one. Yeah. All right. We got the pork slider, pork belly slider. So this is going to be interesting. Don't know what's on it. <laughs> Key lime pie. 
and a frozen lemonade and it came to $15.75. Yeah, I, I think that is Chaliso. I read Chaliso was in it, so that's gotta be that. Oh, yum, 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 yum. So I'm ready to try this. All right, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna get me a piece of meat off the bottom and try it. Ooh. Oh my. This, those, these little things right here, I don't know what they are. I don't taste it. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try the sausage. What did you think of that little piece of meat? That was tasty. No problem. No Mmm. This is not chili. So well, this well, whole it's got sandwich. a little bit of heat. Yeah, it's got a little heat to it. Pickles. It's got a snap to it. Mm -hmm. Looking at it, it reminds me of the meat that's in the Ronald wrap. Mm -hmm. Oh, this pickle. The pickle has heat. So I'm almost wondering if this is what they use. Because I think it's nothing but a summer sausage or something. Yeah. Or a smoked sausage. Yeah, smoke, yeah. But that pickle. Taste the pickle. See if you think there's heat in that pickle. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> My lip. <laughs> can't eat any more of it, can you? That's that. I'm gonna try a bite of this though. What's the sauce that's on there though? Because the sauce isn't what making it pop. That's definitely a pickle. It's got a heat. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's kind of messy. So make sure you are sitting down. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Jimmy be good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. too. He's the one too. Mm. You said you didn't like this, huh? That sauce is on it's kind of sweet. That's a different kind of meat on here too. Mm. I didn't believe this is just white chocolate. Oh, it cuts nicely. You can see the the lemon or the key lime, and then the tart on top or the and that top is a marshmallow top. That's marshmallow. That's what it tastes like to me. Mm. And I taste coconut in it too. Marshmallow, doesn't it? The lemon. Really, it's good. The key lime. Or key lime. Yeah. And that's just white chocolate. Yeah, marshmallow. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good though. Are these similar to what they sell over at Armorette's? Mm hmm. Yeah, Armorette should have um, a key lime. It's a marshmallow. That's marshmallow. We were just talking about a campfire the other day, last yeah. night. Yeah. Talking about doing a campfire, and I said, I miss roasty marshmallows. I don't want the s'mores, I just want the marshmallow. Let me throw some more in this. No, you eat the rest. And um, I got my marshmallow. Yeah, it tastes like marshmallow. That's good. Oh, it's so fluffy. 
Yeah. I thought it might have been going to be oversweet. But not really oversweet. In the lemonade, I told Boo, I said, we need to get that big thing, the Country Time lemonade, make that up, and I can throw it in the freezer and make a frozen lemonade. Because this is tasty. But Boo got a brain froze. Brain freeze. He froze his brain. Okay, boy. And it won't thaw out. Yeah, that was tasty. So, okay. So far, those three items here, we like. Yeah. We like. So, maybe I'll go check out and see what's at the other ones. Alright, this is what they have. This is the warm asparagus salad. Chocolate oil, spring pea. I have no idea what this is. I like asparagus. I think that would probably be good. And then herb roasted spring lamb. It's this. And then, ooh, strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. Yummy. I might have to get that one. All right. Oh, what is this? House made potato and cheddar biscuit. Oh, salmon tartare. Oh, no. Ooh, dark chocolate raspberry tart. That looks good. Oh, that looked good. And so did that rhubarb upside down cake but no real food bummer all right going out of our comfort zone and I got the lamb I've had gyro that had lamb meat with it but I've never had actual lamb so this is gonna be new and that is a strawberry rhubarb upside down cake that's gonna be good and that's our trash and trash so let's give this a try all right. Oh I yeah, think... look, I see that that meat is like medium. Yeah, that's how you eat the, this way. You'll definitely like this, I think. All right, oh, let me try the carrots here. Mm. Carrots had a snap to them. Is this a grape? I think this is a grape. No, it's a potato. This looks like here is a bean. Mm-hmm. Kind of got some reminds kale me of, in a, it. of a lima bean. Yeah. I think this is mushrooms in here too. Yeah. Oh, some of these are mushrooms. That's all you then. Mm. All right. Um, okay. Your phone ringing it is. Press the button you must and fulfill your destiny. All right, don't tell anybody I did this. Out. I know that this is a potato. But mm -hmm. is this, That's a potato. Are those too. are the brown ones, or the not the brown? I'm just, and you know, I was just reading about these earlier. Is that what they were called, though? Purple potato. Yeah. Just, just down and eat well, it I'm, off. I'm trying to. I'm such an elegant person. You're such an elegant eater, I know. Yeah, right. Yeah, definitely purple. Did I? Agree? That one I thought was a great. Is a potato. Yeah. How's the glaze that's on it? Hmm. Mm. The glaze kind of has like a, a buttery flavor. You taste it. this one? Mm -mm. This flavor? Or yellow one? Or color? Red one? No. That's one for you. Mmm. You gonna try the lamb though? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Mm. 
I saved that side there for you because that would be more cooked than um, the other side is. Oh, wait, here we go. There you go. And this was a big piece. What is that sprinkle stuff on there? It looks like it's an shake herb. and bake. It looks like shake and bake. <laughs> and I it's, helped. It's an <laughs> herb. And very tasty herb. Okay. Your opinion on it? I don't think so. Not something you like. Do you like um, it? It's not bad. No, don't say it's not bad. Do you like it? Yes or no? I would not order this particular recipe again. This one. But I would try it somewhere else, though. Yeah, I don't like the taste. Yeah, the lamb's got a, a different taste. I'm trying to get some of the... Some of this glaze on it. I'm trying to get some more of these veggies. Cause... Yeah. Well, eat the potatoes, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely a, I don't know if you could say it's an acquired taste. Yeah, I think it would be an acquired taste. All right, so now here's the strawberry rhubarb. I was, wait a minute. No, it's not. That's a whipped cream. Yeah, but it tastes. Yeah, it's not made with heavy cream. It's made with a different kind of cream. It's not too sweet. Yeah. Well, the cake might be sweet. That might be why. Let me get a little bit piece of the flour or the leaves and the cake. Mmm. All right. Now mix that together. Mmm. That's tasty, isn't it? It's okay. And I love strawberry rhubarb. Granny always made a rhubarb You've pie. You've been wanting rhubarb pie. There you go. Remember that show we were watching the other day? Oh yeah, he was just shoveling at him. He got watching that that um, series called Them on, on the Amazon. Prime. On Amazon Prime, and it's called Them. Man, it's freaky. <laughs> We keep watching it. <laughs> and I don't like creepy things like this. And it's like, it's kind of hard to understand at first. And then if you haven't watched it, I mean, you have to sit down and actually watch from the beginning and put pieces together as it goes on. And so far we are going over, yeah. uh, over a day, a seven day period. Everything that we watch is supposed to be over seven days that this has all happened to these people. Creepy. But. I see what you mean by mixing the two now. Mm-hmm. But what is this? I, Rhubarb. The, and then there's obviously... Strawberries, strawberries in there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, with that, the tartness of the the rhubarb, with the sweetness of the strawberries, and then the not-so-sweet of the cream. Mm. It's a good combination. Yeah. It is. But me being, I guess, I don't know if you want to say practical or, or use of certain thing. Put some Cool Whip on there and it'd still be good too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> or whipped cream. Yeah, Cool, cool Whip. Cool Whip or some Ready Whip or whatever. Yeah. Wanna... Well, more Cool Whip because I like Cool Whip better than I like Ready Whip when it comes to pies. Yeah. But I like the Ready Whip for my coffee drinks. And Obi likes it because it's his puppuccino. <laughs> oh, good news, folks. Obi's daycare is opening on, on Saturdays now. And Boo's not working Saturdays anymore. So, guess where we're going to be on Saturday? Where? All over the place. Are you serious? He hasn't had, well, he's had Saturdays off, but he's worked almost every Saturday for the past five and a half years. And so we finally got rid of them. Now we can go back to our antique shopping, and we like to go into the thrift stores and I everything else on Saturday. Guys, on Saturday for football. 
Oh, we can stay home with daddy and watch football while mommy's out. OH, baby. OH. Go blue. You need to start with that. You really need to start with that. And Ooh. yeah. That one was really yeah, tart. Yeah, feed your face. <laughs> don't don't ever let those words come out of your your chicklets again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't like my Go Blue. Your team? Yeah. The team up north? The team up north. Yeah. I don't know either. Funny thing is, we're down here south. My team is up north too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Both of them are teams up north. We've seen a, um, we seen a van with um, Ohio plates on it, but they had the Michigan U of M, um, M on the back of their car, and their license plate said U of M 88. And it's like, okay, we know that they're alumni of remember Michigan. that time? Remember that time we went to, um, we were going over to Tina's some house, their old house, and in and, and Michigan, but they had a banner on, it was Ohio State Buckeye um, banner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Their, her neighbor did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, so. We, I'm gonna give you the verdict of. Oh, I sorry, I didn't think about it. I just dropped it in there. Um, okay, lamb is not for us. We tried it. No, we're good. We're good with the lamb. The strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. Mm -hmm. That was good. So we had four good things out of five. So. Not too bad. I should have gotten that warm asparagus salad. Yeah, I but be yeah, I probably should have done that. Oh well, I'll know next time. We'll get that. Yeah, oh, and then also the other booth had a dark chocolate raspberry tart. Mm -hmm. And I said I thought about it, but we already ate a tart, and I'm like the upside down cake. Uh, let's go with the upside down cake. But now we've eaten too much, so now we're gonna have to go too walk it off, or I'll have Are to ride serious? it off. I'm just joking. Are you serious? I'm full. Yeah, you're right. You'll be ready to eat by the time we walk out of this convention area. Yeah, I'll be hungry again. Yeah. <laughs> Every hour on the hour, you gotta feed me. You're like a gremlin. Well, you know what? Yeah, that, you know what that is. During the pandemic, being home all the time, I was bored, so I started eating a little bit every few hours. And then when I'm making dinner, I, I snack on whatever I'm making. If I'm cutting up anything, I'm eating on it. You're like a little mini Mouse. I'm a mini Mouse, huh? See, look, yeah. <laughs> I'm a mini Mouse. But, um, so now it's like my stomach is hungry all the time. Or your... But I just have to make sure I eat the right stuff when I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> and this stuff, oh my gosh. Much too good for anybody but me. Hashtag body armor. Hey. Body armor light. Hashtag it. Oh, yeah. Did you? I don't know if I told you guys, but I have become a influ influence, in, influence, influencer. influencer. Yeah. In, yes. So I am going to be testing out product and telling you guys all about it. Like I did the pink sea salt, Himalayan sea salt. <clears throat> Been using it for a few days now, so I'm about to um, give my um, final point on that one. So watch for that video too. All right, let's see what else we can do. Over here by Germany. We're right by Germany. They have the glass art here, and you can make your own picture frame, pendant, nightlight, trinket da, this, da, dish, da, da, and a sun catcher. You can make any of them. And they have all this fun stuff here that you can do. And then it comes out like these. You get to pick whatever project you want. And they have all kinds of colors and things back there. That's like this. This is all what they have 
available and you can use that to make them. Now the price wise, I'm not sure. I'm gonna find out. But here's the little trinket trays. You can buy them ready made or you can make them. Here's the picture frame you can do. And look at they got a hidden Mickey on this one. So they run from $19, I believe. $19 for this to $55 for this. So it, it varies. And then the pendants you can make. Look at all that. Isn't that cool? So now you guys know you can come to Epcot and make a trinket tray. Or ornament. Or pendant. Picture frame. Trinket trays. I think I got everything, right? Yeah. All right, look at this, Remy. He's ready to go. I'm gonna check this bathroom. Oh, look at my Skyliners are stopped. There's my big beautiful buckets right there in the sky. And a helicopter over there. All right, Yammy, I'm gonna stay over here. All right, who's gonna find a spot to sit in the shade while I go use the restroom? I would take you guys in there, but you know, you don't wanna see people in the restroom. If nobody's in there, I would show you the restroom because I think they're going to be cute. And this over here is for stroller parking for the ride. day there um, the lamb not so good but other things were good too um, I'm glad I got to go back here and check out the area and the restroom I know you're probably thinking why do you want a restroom well because they're different Disney's they're Disney bathrooms so I mean I can't say much else but you know, Disney, they make sure that they theme their bathrooms to the area, and it was just cool. Oh, that was the new ice cream place or gelato place in Italy. Um, it was really, looked really good. <sighs> I'll be dreaming you guys later. Bye, my big, beautiful buckets. Okay, guys, I hope you had a good time with us. Come back and see us, and don't forget to subscribe like and comment just like sophie tells you but i really need you to subscribe so if you can figure out how to subscribe would you that would be wonderful <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later bye Come back and see Yammy some more.